I asked the predictive language AI software ChatGPT to make a Resident Evil 4 video. I fed it nothing but prompts and let it work its magic. From scratch, it came up with the idea, the topics, the script, and even the thumbnail. And this is what it came up with. Welcome back, horror gaming enthusiasts, to our channel dedicated to the spine-chilling world of Resident Evil. Today, we're delving into the dark corridors of Resident Evil 4 to uncover its three scariest moments. Get ready for a journey through terror as we explore the nightmares that await. But first, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a horrifying update. We have plenty of terrifying content coming your way. Now let's kick off our countdown with the least scary but still chilling moment in Resident Evil 4, the introduction of Dr. Salvador. Brace yourselves. Ah, uh, Dr. Salvador, also known as the Chainsaw Man, an infamous Resident Evil character that strikes fear into the hearts of players. The first time you encounter him, it's an unforgettable and spine-tingling experience. The scare factor here lies in the element of surprise. Suddenly, you hear the revving of a chainsaw, and there he is, charging toward you with deadly intent. The shock value of his appearance combined with that menacing weapon sends chills down your spine. What makes Dr. Salvador particularly frightening is his relentless pursuit. His erratic movements and unpredictable attacks keep you on edge, constantly dodging and strategizing to survive. It's a heart-pounding dance of life and death. The fear of instant death adds an extra layer of intensity to this encounter. One wrong move and it's game over. That adrenaline rush as you narrowly escape his deadly swings is both exhilarating and terrifying. But fear not, for there are strategies to face this nightmarish adversary. Whether it's using well-timed shots, stunning him with flash grenades, or finding clever ways to outmaneuver him, surviving Dr. Salvador's deadly assault becomes a satisfying accomplishment. Phew! Dr. Salvador certainly knows how to send chills down our spines, but now, it's time to shift our focus to another nerve-wracking challenge in Resident Evil 4, the Garador Encounters. Brace yourself, because these next moments will test your courage like never before. In the Garador rooms, the fear factor reaches new heights as you face off against these formidable enemies. But before we dive in, let's explore the single and double Garador rooms and the scares they bring. First up, we have the single Garador room. Imagine being trapped in a confined space with only one way out, while a single Garador stalks you with deadly precision. The fear here lies in the isolation and the vulnerability. Your heart races as you try to stay silent and avoid attracting its attention. But wait, we're not done yet. Now let's turn our attention to the double Garador room, where things escalate to a whole new level of terror. In the double Garador room, you're faced with not one, but two Garadors. Talk about overwhelming odds. The fear intensifies as you realize you're outnumbered, and both of them are relentlessly pursuing you. It becomes a test of your nerves, as you carefully strategize your movements to evade their deadly strikes. So, which of these Garador rooms do you think takes the cake as the scariest? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And now, it's time for the moment that still haunts the dreams of Resident Evil 4 players, the introduction of the Regenerators. Brace yourselves as we descend into true horror. Picture this. You find yourself in a dimly lit corridor, the atmosphere thick with tension. As you cautiously explore, you stumble upon a locked door. 
but little do you know what awaits you on the other side. And then you hear it, the haunting sound of heavy labored breathing. You know something sinister is lurking nearby. Suddenly, the door bursts open, revealing the grotesque, disfigured form of a regenerator. The sight alone is enough to make your skin crawl. The regenerators are the stuff of nightmares. Their deformed bodies, pallid skin, and unsettling movements evoke a sense of true terror. But what sets them apart is their ability to regenerate. The fear of the unknown plays a significant role in this encounter. As you try to comprehend the Regenerator's nature and find ways to defeat them, your heart races. Each step you take, every breath you draw, is shrouded in anxiety. The unnerving sound design adds another layer to the horror. The guttural growls, echoing footsteps, and chilling moans create an atmosphere of constant dread. It's a symphony of terror that keeps you on the edge of your seat. But fear not, for there are ways to overcome these formidable foes. The thermal scope, which reveals their hidden weak points, becomes your lifeline in this battle for survival. It's a race against time as you try to disable their regenerative abilities and put them down for good. And that brings us to the end of our countdown. Which of these three moments left the biggest impression on you? Share your thoughts and spine-chilling stories in the comments below. Thank you all for joining us on this journey through the horrors of Resident Evil 4. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more spine-tingling content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We've got plenty more scares, thrills, and gaming adventures coming your way. Stay brave, stay scared, and stay tuned. Until next time.